Hello, I'm back. Video number three. Okay, now take a look at this question. By the way, video one, video two, and video three. Please watch in sequence, starting from video one. Okay, to two to three. Don't forget. Now, all these questions that you see that Richard Patrick you know, used to explain, and they are usually found in our pop quiz. Now, every week in our tuition center, we will have a science pop quiz for all our P3 and P4 pupils. A pop quiz is based on what they have learned. We come up with fundamental questions to allow them to you know, practice. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. Explain what happens when some water is poured into the container containing marbles. Now, do you want to guess how many parts of the question are there? Think about that. One or two? It's actually two, okay? Now, how come there are two parts? Let's take a look. They want you to talk about explain. They also want you to tell me what has happened. Okay, so explain what happens when some water is poured into the container containing marbles. I usually will start by telling them what happens first because if I can see what happens, I am in a better position to explain why that happens. So here we go. What happens when water is poured into the container containing marbles? The answer will be water flows in into the container containing marbles. So take note, if this is a two mark question, you have only just earned one mark. So please don't stop here. You need to explain why water flows into the container containing marbles. First of all, let me shape some parts that you can see down here. These parts that Teacher Machine has just shaded, anyone can tell me what are these called? I can't hear you, unfortunately. Maybe you can just shout out and see whether your parents are with you, and then your parents will be able to tell you whether you're right or wrong, okay? Now, these blue parts that I've just shaded, they are called... They are called air gaps. Okay, air gaps. Or some, some features like to use spaces, some other teachers use air spaces, it doesn't matter, okay? I think all of them has the same idea behind it. Now, then how do we use this phrase? Previously, did you remember I taught you this? Blank takes the space of blank. Do you remember this? Now, Let's talk about what is inside. There's water, there's marbles. Okay, so we will say water takes the space, but this time I cannot say take the space of marbles. Marbles is still inside. So let's paraphrase or change it a little. Change it to in between. Do you understand this? Water take the space in between marbles. So you could see that there are lots of marbles. Between two marbles, there is space in between them. Do you see that? So that's why we use the phrase, water takes the space in between marbles. That would be the explanation. One mark for here, one mark for here. Do you get it? I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye!